how to fix domain error in Shopify and DNS errors. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can fix domain errors if you receive them in Shopify, how you can connect domains and how you can ensure that your domain is going to work well with your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now, there isn't a lot of troubleshooting you have to do if you get a DNS error. It's a really simple process and it doesn't matter what domain name provider you're using. If it's Squarespace, GoDaddy, Namecheap, whichever provider you have, these steps are going to work the same. So let's jump right in. The first step you're going to do is click on settings on the left and then you're going to click on domains. Now in this Shopify store, I haven't connected a domain as of yet. Now, one of the most important things that a lot of people run into is that when they're connecting their domain, they make an error over there. So for example, if I open up my domain over here, as you guys can see, this is the domain name that I have. I can click on manage DNS over here or go into the domain settings and you will see all of the DNS records. Now, when you're connecting a domain manually, you have to put in a new DNS record. And the easiest and most efficient way to ensure that the domain name record that you are putting in does not have any errors is to delete any previous record. So take whatever records that you can delete. So you guys can see you have a bunch of different records over here. We can select them from here. We have these Shopify domain name records as well. And I'm just gonna delete all of the previous records. This is one of the easiest ways that you can remove any errors that you are having with your domain. Now, after that, you also want to check your domain forwarding. So you guys can see this is the domain forwarding that is forwarding to a Shopify store, which I'm going to remove. Make sure that your domain is not linked to any other link or any other domain. So once we've completed that, you will see your name servers and your host names and DNSSEs. That is unnecessary. You don't need to check that out. So once you've ensured that your domain does not have any previous records, uh, that is going to usually fix your DNS errors. So if I was to connect an existing domain, I will add the domain over here. Click on next. Once you click on next, uh, Shopify will automatically see what domain name provider you're using. So you can just click on follow settings instructions, verify connection. You will see your A and C name entered incorrectly. You're just going to open that up. So I'm going to open up the SSL pending uh, one over here. You guys will see it didn't ask me for any verification. It just says SSL pending. So I'm going to open that up and you guys will see over here, we have a third party connection guide, but we're just gonna close that up. And what you're going to do is we are going to connect our domain by going into this section over here. And we have our redirects to our full dot set. I'm not going to add it as a redirect. I want to add it as a primary domain. So from here, this is going to be our primary domain. And once we've done that, we want to add the DNS records. So we're going to click on add a new record and you're going to input the record. Now, how do you get the record values from here? How do you add that? Well, it's a really simple thing. We're going to click on connect existing domain and we are going to add ruffled.site. Click on next. Oh, it's already connecting. So we're just going to click on domain type. I'll just delete this so we can redo this. Shopify is being a bit annoying right now. So we're going to add www.ruffled.site and then click on next. Once you click on next over here, we can see follow the instructions to change your provider account settings, verify the connection to make sure your domain is set up correctly. So we're going to click on follow setting instructions. This opens up our domain name connector. So we're going to connect to our store manually. And once we've done that, we are going to change the domain info. So we're gonna go into GoDaddy, choose our options, and then you're just going to input these values from here. Usually you get those values over here. That just makes it easier. But if you're not getting your values here, you can just open up the DNS records. 
in the Shopify guide and you can customize from there. If you verify your connection without, um, you know, actually changing it, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get SSL pending. So that is one of the major issues people are facing. You guys can see it directly just doesn't show that. Now, another way to do this, if you want to just uh, forward your domain, is to click on add forwarding and you can add the Shopify URL. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to open up my online store. Then I'm going to copy the domain name that we have for our Shopify store. You're going to go into settings and use your old domain for this. So we are going to copy this from here and then paste that in. Click on save over here. You're going to see that GoDaddy or whatever provider you are using is going to redirect the domain. So for your tidy link, you have to convert this into a DNS record. You can choose an option, site name A, and our domain forwarding should, uh, you know, be effective in a couple of seconds. So we're going to click on settings here, go into domains, and currently it's still SSL pending. So we're going to ensure. Yeah, this redirects to ruffled.site and this is also going to be redirecting like so. Now, if you're still having issues with your domain, it might be on the end of your domain name provider. So you want to ensure that the domain name that you have purchased, you have renewed it. And if you are not renewing your domain, that means you no longer have access to that domain. Additionally, if they are a bit crowded, you guys can see we have these new records over here. Ruffled.site is now added. This is the C name. This is the primary server. But if you are adding new DNS records, if you're switching your domain every couple of hours to a different Shopify store, that is going to create issues as well. So that might be why your domain name is showing you guys an error. Now, these are some really basic errors. And usually if you just wait for a little while, or just reset your DNS records. If you just redo the records and alter your domain settings, just manage your domain, you're going to be able to make sure that your domain starts working again. It's really not something to be, um, you know, troubleshooting over and over again. If it's showing you an error for the time being, it's best that you just troubleshoot it once or twice and then you reset your records and then you are supposed to troubleshoot your uh, domain. Now, as you guys can see over here, I don't have a SSL certificate, so it's going to keep on showing SSL certificate as pending because I haven't purchased it via GoDaddy. But usually with most domain name providers, you are going to be able to get the additional SSL certificates as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.